So in this quick start now, uh, let's have a little look at um, some of the other tools that are available. Adding a resource and adding an activity. Now these are all available in every topic through the whole interface. And let's just have a quick look at what's going on in Add a Resource. So we've got Add a Label, Add a Text Page, Add a Web Page, and Link to a File or Web Page. Uh, so these are the really the, the main ones that you will use quite a lot. Um, so let's just use the link to a file or a website. So by letting that go and clicking in there, we get that option. So let's just call it Word Doc. I've had that in there for another one. You may need to write something like Test Word Doc or the title of a particular um, document that you have. Uh, and you can then find the file and it'll go straight to your file menu. And this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. If I just click on this, it will begin to download it. But if I right click on it and copy the link location, it gives me a, um, it copies a URL for that particular file and it will do it for all these files if I right click on them. Um, so now I've, I've um, actually copied the URL by right clicking on it and copying the link location. Now this is the same in a, on a PC, I'm actually working on a Mac, um, but it's the same on a PC. If I go to Properties, by right clicking and go to Properties and then copy the URL, that's what we really want at this point. Okay, so if I close that now and go back to my location and paste into that location, over that it gives me that particular URL that's exactly what we're after at this point so it's not all that important to put something in here at the moment but um, the URL and the name on the document are pretty much what we're after we can open it in the same window or a new window I'll choose new window and at this point that's about all we need I want to save that and display it so Let's see what it does. So it's going to, it's actually gone and got the Word document and it wants to d display that at the moment. So it's brought up the Word document and um, it's displaying that for us at the moment. So let's close that and go back to our main interface and see what it looks like. So now we've got this test Word document here and if I turn off editing this is what users will see. Now I've still got my news forum there and I don't really want to use that. I, there's really no reason f f in the grand plan of things to have that. So I'm going to turn my editing on and I'm going to get rid of that. Okay so I'm going to actually delete that and it's or well I may want to just hide it. Let's just go back and say no and just hide it and so when users go back and have a look at that turn off editing it just looks like that um, or mm, I'm still not happy with that and I, I think I might want to just delete it so let's just delete it because it's just cluttering things up and I just don't I don't think I'm ever going to use it so don't be afraid to do those sort of things live radically and um, and um, just make changes you can't break this particular system so let's oops, let's have a quick look at what's over here in the add an activity so we've got assignments uh, we can add chat we can add a database a forum um, a journal a lesson and what most people do in this section is add a quiz so we'll cover that in the next session and I think that'll be enough for this particular quick start.